Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back to what I think will be the last episode in this series. Uh, we're well on our way to a rocket launch. Uh, right now we're at 46%, and uh, that number is growing at a decent rate. Not super fast, but uh, we're doing okay. Um, I was able to get our issue with red circuits fixed, uh, so now all of the rocket control units are producing as fast as they can, which is not terribly fast, uh, admittedly. But let's take a look here. Um, looks like we're doing yeah, about 30 per second on uh, rocket control units, low density structures. Um, rocket fuel is less just because it's been backed up for a while. So. Looks like about 30 per second is uh, the best we can do, or 30 per minute rather, um, <clears throat> which in that case means about three, four percent per minute. So it'll take us, uh, let's see, with 50 percent less to go, or left to go, um, we're looking at uh, about 12 and a half minutes, which is not too long. So in the meantime, um, in order for the rocket launch to actually give us a wind condition, uh, we need to launch it with a satellite. So we should start getting our satellite ready. Uh, satellite takes uh, low density structures, solar panels, accumulators, radars, blue circuits, and rocket fuel. Um, so all of those things we have already, except for the solar panels and accumulators. So I'd like to start making some of those right now. Um, and we can set that up. I guess we can just make them over here. All right, so let's get, uh, let's say two machines of each, perhaps more. Let's do four machines of each. All right, so. These can be solar panels, and we'll have these placed into boxes. And the satellite itself will just craft by hand uh, as soon as we have the, the quantity of items that we need. Okay, so these need steel, circuits, and copper plate. So let's go ahead and bring those items over. Um, they take 10 seconds to make. Uh, looks like the circuits are the most uh, voluminous item that we need. So we'll do a shared belt with steel and copper and then a full belt of green circuits. some copper over here. Okay, and then there we go. Actually, I'm going to move this over. so that we have room. Okay. So we'll put a fast inserter there. And then we'll need to do long inserters for the circuits. All right, 
so let's put a splitter there and Here, let's move this back one more Dead. Okay, and then we'll put a couple boxes in the middle, and uh, as we did before, we can wire these together so that we don't produce too many. We only need 100. How do these stack? You know what? I'm not going to put a circuit there. We'll just we'll just keep an eye on it. All right, 71%. Good. So it's five, ten. All right. So let's start making accumulators. Um, I am going to need some more belts first. So let me go grab those. Um, now the accumulators take. 10 seconds as well, and those take iron plates and batteries. And fortunately, we already have all of these items on the bus, which uh, makes our job quite simple at this point, uh, with the possible exception of just routing the materials. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. configuration down here. One, two, three. There we go. And these will be accumulators. Put a couple boxes. All right. Now in this case, uh, two iron plates and Five batteries each. Um, we could actually do a shared belt as well. So let's do that. Uh, where are my batteries? Over here. Splitter. There we go. All right, for solar panels, we're about halfway there. And actually, since we're running a little bit behind here on the accumulators, let's Go ahead and double this up while we're at it. It would be a shame to have our rocket ready and then still be waiting for uh, solar panels and accumulators. Make a couple more boxes there. Okay, and uh, we might as well go ahead and do the same with our solar panels. There 
we go. And there we go. All right. Yes, yeah, so we've got 80 solar panels and 33 accumulators so far. Uh, let's start collecting our other ingredients. Uh, we're going to need 100 blue circuits. Okay, we're good there. Uh, we need five radar. So we'll start making those. Uh, 100 low density structure. We can just pull off of our belt here. How many have we got? Okay, that's 100 easily. And actually, let's put the rest in here. Um, Okay, well, we've got a few extra. And put those rocket control units in there. Uh, what else do we need here? Um, 50 rocket fuel. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And yeah, so we just need solar panels and accumulators now. All right, so we've got our solar panels. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off for now. And we just need a few more accumulators and then we will have everything that we need. And we can help this along by handcrafting a few. Okay, there we go. So let's make one satellite. And we're ready to go. <clears throat> so as soon as this gets to 100%, uh, we'll be able to put in our satellite and launch the rocket. So we're nearly there. Just a few more rocket structures. They're coming down the line. 99%. Three more. Here we go. All right. Now when we get to 100%, there's some cool animation as the rocket prepares to launch. All right, so here where it says rocket inventory, we place our satellite and we click the launch button. Here we go. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. It took us 16 hours and nine minutes, which unfortunately is about an hour over uh, one of the achievements. Uh, no time for chit chat, I believe. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously I did spend some time doing some chit chat. So <laughs> I think we could have easily gotten under 15 hours um, if I hadn't uh, spent time explaining things. Um, so I'm going to have to go for that achievement another time. Actually, I haven't gotten it yet. Cause like I said before, I usually play with mods and, uh, you can't get the achievements that way, but, uh, we did finish. So, uh, if you've been playing along with me and you just finished yourself, then, uh, congratulations. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now at this point, if you click finish, uh, that'll be the end of the game. Um, you can also save the replay, which I'm going to do. Uh, I don't know if that has to be a separate file or what. No, let me just save it. 
There we go. Okay, now I'm going to click continue. And when you do that, um, the rocket silo will reset itself and it'll start building another rocket. Now, if you look here in rocket result inventory, you will see that you got a thousand space science packs. So we'll take those out. Every time you launch a satellite, you get a thousand space science packs. Uh, and this is how you do the, what they call the infinite research. Uh, so you can see here, mining productivity, for example, level 16 to infinity. Uh, that means that you can continue doing as much mining productivity as you want. Um, each level increases the number of science packs required. But as long as you're launching rockets, uh, you can continue to research that technology uh, and keep that going. So um, that's how the uh, the big mega bases are, uh, you know, making use of the the packs. Uh, a lot of times, you'll just do mining productivity and rockets or in robot speed. Um, there's some other infinite researches uh, like weapon damage and things like that. But um, that's how that works. So um, I'm, uh, I'm probably going to launch one more rocket here just so I get at least 1,500. And I'll do another level of mining productivity to use those up. Um, after that, I'm going to keep this game going to finish all the research so that I can get the uh, research achievement. If we take a look at that. Now, we just got a few. Uh, or I just got a few achievements on this playthrough for using only steam power. Um, there was one for, geez, I don't even remember what they were now. Um, yeah, there was steam all the way. Oh, raining bullets and logistic network embargo. I think those were the three that I just got. Um, there's another achievement called, this one called so long and thanks for all the fish. Uh, you get that one if you launch a fish into space, um, and I can I can show you how to do that. Basically, you take a fish and you put it in the rocket instead of a satellite. Um, now, if you're not sure how to catch fish, it's actually fairly easy. You just come to the shoreline, and you look for one of these little shadows, and you just right-click on it, and uh, you get your fish. There they are. Uh, the fish can be used for health as well, if you damage yourself. Uh, like that, for example. You can, let's see, yeah, you can give yourself a fish to heal yourself. So, um, so if you want to grab that achievement, I'd recommend that. Um, as for what's next, um, please let me know in the comments uh, what you would like to see me do next, uh, if anything. Um, I've got a, a couple thoughts. You know, one thing that we could do is continue with this base and expand it into something much larger. Uh, let me shut off these accumulators here. Um, another idea I've had was to try a game with Bob's Mods, because uh, I've never really spent a lot of time on that, and I think it would be fun to try something that's a little more complex than the base game. Um, you know, or we could just do a, maybe we could do another uh, vanilla base and go for mega base size. Um, it's kind of wide open at this point. Uh, so if there's something that you would like to see me do, let's get rid of that. Uh, please let me know in the comments and uh, I'd be more than happy to see your suggestions for the next series. And until then, thanks a lot for joining me. Hope you found this useful and take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.